Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode here at Liquid Memoir. And, and finally, we're doing a cocktail that is not rum-based. By the time that this video comes out, might be a little late, but I wanted to jump on the fall apple train kind of drinks. So today we're making a apple martini. And no, we're not using apple sour poker. We're not using sour mix. We're only using real ingredients here. All right. Let's get to it. Before we make the drink, we need fresh apple juice. Depending on how many drinks you want to make, it'll depend on how many apples you need to cut. Generally speaking, every quarter of an apple will yield anywhere between 1 or 2 ounces. For each drink, we need 1 ounce of apple juice. So, cut your apples into a few pieces, get rid of the core. And before I forget, save a piece of an apple for the garnish. Once the apples are ready, pass them through a juicer. If you don't have a juicer, I recommend getting a Breville. They can juice all sorts of things. Check it out in the link below. Not sponsored, by the way. Now that we got apple juice, add an eighth of a teaspoon of as as ascorbic acid, which is just vitamin C. This is optional, by the way, but if you're not gonna immediately use your juice, I highly recommend using this. It'll keep your juice nice and green. We don't want yucky brown apple juice. Stir this for a few seconds to incorporate. And then bottle, label, and refrigerate. It'll keep for a few hours. Whatever you do, make sure to finish the juice the same day. Let's fill this drink. Grab your shaker and jiggers. First, let's add half an ounce or 15 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then add half an ounce or 15 mils of 2 to 1 honey syrup. Then add a quarter ounce or 7.5 mils of cinnamon syrup. The recipe for cinnamon syrup will be in the description below. Now, let's add two ounces. No, that's a lot. Add one ounce or 30 mils of freshly squeezed apple juice. Finally, add one and a half ounces or 45 mils of vodka. Any vodka is fine. If you want your drink a slightly stronger, add two ounces or 60 mils instead. Add your ice to your shaker and give that a good shake, 10 to 15 seconds. Once done shaking, double strain your cocktail into your favorite cocktail glass. Now for the garnish, cut about a quarter of a whole apple, then cut that quarter by half. Now I'm no chef, but tuck your fingies, that way you don't cut yourself. We don't want a finger in our drink. Halloween passed. Cut small, thin slices. Do your best to cut these slices as thinly as possible. Place three of these thin apple slices in a skewer and place it in the corner of the glass. To finish this drink, add a generous amount of freshly grated cinnamon on top. And that's an apple martini. Cheers. This is very exciting. It's the first non-rum drink I'm gonna try in a very long time. Oh, first off, the cinnamon. That's really nice. You can also taste taste. You can taste without tasting. Yeah, it's taste with the nose. Uh, we haven't even tasted the drink and uh, I have good feelings about this. The color is really nice. Fresh apple juice can oxidize extremely quick. So my recommendation is to either one, as soon as you juice the apple, use it and drink it. Or two, I recommend you to use one of these. This is ascorbic acid. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing it correctly. I'll leave the link to, in the description below for the one that I use. Wow. I'm gonna be honest here, I'm not a vodka drinker, but this is absolutely delicious. It's very light, it's very refreshing. 
Green apple is so delicious and has enough body and enough roundness from the cinnamon and the honey. The cinnamon and the apple play together very well in a way. Classic fall ingredients. I think even if you add a dash of bitters, even though it would turn the color off, it might give a little bit even more complexity to the cocktail. The vodka, it's not too much in your face. You could probably do two ounces instead of one and a half ounces. I think I wanted to keep this really approachable, uh, but it's up to you. It's your cotton when you make it at home. It's not really an apple pie in a cup, even though it has cinnamon and apple, because it's not too sugary. I think it's very juicy, but it's not a sugar bomb. It's not like a dessert cocktail. It's slightly sour. Man, I might, I might drink a few of these. This is actually good. Maybe add some rum in it. Or you know what? And now that I think about it, even the same recipe, maybe mezcal instead. That could be cool. If any of you guys try this cocktail, with a different spirit let me know in the comments what do you think all right guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon to get notified of the next video also follow me on all socials at liquid memoir before we go remember an apple a day keeps the doctor away cheers <laughs>